Today, we're gonna cook. And I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna cook in just a second. But first of all, to all you Sigma Alpha male haters, you're gonna say, oh, you, you should let your woman cook, mm. Please just be quiet, don't fucking give me a headache. Please, I, I don't wanna complain about you, I just wanna eat something nice. And today we're gonna cook um, glazed carrots with eggs and meat. And I'm gonna show you how we do it. So here we've got our carrots. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly get something to put them on. First of all, after this beautiful recipe that I saw, we need carrots that we have. We need water, which we also have. We need butter, which I of course have, I'm a man. And we also need honey. Perfect, I'm just gonna get this kosher salt. I don't really mean, I don't really know what kosher is gonna change about it. And we need pepper and fresh lemon and maybe parsley. What is parsley, man? What is that? <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do this here. I don't know what this means, garnish. But we are just gonna get these ingredients real quick and then we're gonna get to step one of the instructions. Okay, so we have everything now except salt and salt we are gonna get from these salted nuts, which we're also gonna put in there because it tastes really, really nice to eat meat with nuts. So now that we have a knife, we are gonna cut these carrots and in this instruction, it says, peel the carrots if you like. If you like. So we're not gonna do that. My mom would say that's where the vitamins are. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Trim the tops and tapered bottom tips of the carrots. Reserve a few spoons. No, we're not gonna do that. Give them a quick rinse. What is a rinse? to remove any sand or grit. Oh, a gri oh, 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 with, with water, okay. Nice, okay, so now, I'm gonna do that before we fucking get to cooking. So, okay, now, what is step numero due? What is it? So what is step number two? Now with, that we have our carrots here and here and here, we're gonna look for step two. Cut the carrots into pieces of one and a half inches. That's long. Okay, yeah, let me, let me get my measuring band real quick. Fucking recipe, man. This will ensure they cook quickly and evenly. Please shut the fuck up, yapping man. Put the carrots in a large 12 inch. Oh, okay, yeah, that's average. What's a skillet? Preferably non-stick for easy. Okay, that's a pan. So skillet is a pan, nice to know. For easy clean up, that's what she said. Pour in the water and add the butter, sugar, salt, and okay. So we basically put everything in a bowl, in a bowl, I'm sorry, and cut it into one and a half inch pieces, which is a very good size. So I'm gonna just cut like this, so it looks a little nicer, because on this beautiful recipe, there is a picture, I'm gonna show it to you if I don't cut my hands open. There is a beautiful picture of these carrots that I'm supposed to use, and they are all kind of, um, have an edge, you know? Talking about edging, you should not edge. If you know this trend of edging, I'm just gonna talk a little bit while I cook to make it a little bit less boring for you. Some people think that edging, so basically bringing yourself short before climax when you masturbate and stopping them will increase testosterone. I don't think so. I have done that once or like five times and it's absolute trash. It's just like you're 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 just so tempted to just go over it and forget about your testosterone. You 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 have a soul to keep. <laughs> like edging is something so stupid. Every single time I hear someone say, Well, I edged last Sunday. 
Yeah, what did you what did you also do, man? You're just fucking jerking off, man. I think that those people who do this, like on a consistent basis, not just for an experiment, just have a very short lasting time and hope to improve that by way of edging. And also it doesn't improve that. You should watch my video on that. That is gonna be right up there. Now we have put probably a little bit too much butter, a little bit too much honey, and a little bit too little water in this skillet, which is probably a super fancy English gay word for a super simple thing, which can also be described as a bowl if you want to make your recipe super duper uh, fucking complicated. Just put a bunch of English word, like a bunch of British words in it. A skillet, mate. What's a skillet, mate? I need to get my skillet. Wait for me. Wait for me, mate. I need to get my skillet. I need to actually Google maybe what a skillet is because it might be a pan. It might be a bowl. I don't know. <laughs> I just mix it in a bowl. Let's just fucking um, uh, scramble this. But first, let's put in the secret ingredient. Peanuts. Because they said salt. And these contain salt. So we're just gonna put them in here and hope that it tastes nice and not like absolute crap bullshit. Okay, so because of British English people, I only blame them because all other English is the simplest language in the world. Because of British English, super fancy words and because they're a lack of brain cells to say pan, they basically said skillet, a skillet mate. And that's why I thought, oh, it must be some weird bowl. And that's why I Googled it and found out it's a pan. Now, I thought this is a skillet, but I found out that this is a skillet. So I'm now going to put all of these things in here, in here, not in here, not in a, not in a fucking bowl, but in a pan. This is not a skillet. This is a pan, a fucking pan. Look at this fucking recipe. This makes me angry again. Look at this. Where is it? Skillet. 12 inch skillet. Whoever wrote this, you can get my 12 inch skillet. And by the way, I'm German. So if you're English, you know what's happening. <laughs> so now that we have it in our skillet, um, we are place the skillet over medium high heat. Medium high, that's going to be like five. Five, as soon as the water begins to simmer. What the fuck is simmer? I'm, what, what is this fucking word? Simmer. Sim why, do, why can't you just say it bubbles up or whatever? Like, how can you make it so difficult for anyone outside your bullshit country to understand what the fucking recipe says? It makes me angry right now. Simmer. What the fuck is simmer? As soon as the water begins to simmer. I have to Google that shit again, man. What the? I'm learning more English than cooking skills here. Okay, so now that I have placed the the skillet on the on the heater oven or whatever fancy word they have for fucking oven, um, and it has started to simmer, which is basically the equal word as boiling. Why have to make everything so fucking difficult? I'm I'm stupid and I'm a meathead, right? I I can't fucking understand what simmer means. Can't you just say boiling? Okay, as soon as the water starts to simmer, cover up the pan and lower the heat to medium. What? Place the skillet over medium high heat. Heat medium, cook eight minutes. The carrots should feel firm, tender after when poked with a tip, with the tip of a knife. Turn the heat up to high and bring the liquid to a boil. Cook the carrots, uncover until the sauce reduces by about half, about five minutes. What? 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 Once large bubbles begin to form, that's a sign the sauce has reduced enough and glaze is done. Remove the pan from the. Then you can say pan. Then it's it's not a it's not a pan, mate. It's a skillet. Pan from the heat before the liquid totally evaporates or the butter will begin to brown or burn. I'll make you burn. Transfer the carrots and pan. Now you can write pan, but earlier you wrote, you wrote skillet, a skillet. Fucking skillet, man. What? 
Like, what is wrong with English people that they always have to mess everything up? Lemon wedges. And Karen, I'm not going to put lemon wedges in here. No, no fucking way. Scatter the herbs or carrot top greens on top to serve. Notes. Oh, thank that the note is in the end. Dude, this fucking, this recipe is the most bullshit recipe ever. I watched a five minute YouTube tutorial and it was explained better than this bitch in her fucking 10 minute recipe. This is why you shouldn't give English people any right to cook whatsoever. So now that my uh, carrots are hopefully starting to simmer, <laughs> um, I'm gonna prepare the other things, which is eggs. And I'm probably gonna do cooked eggs and also meat. Now, just to let you know, I have marinated the meat a little bit or dismarinated because I marinated a little bit too much. These are simmering uh, on a good level now. I hope it's not too much. I have to read the instructions again. Where are they? Instructions were oh, turn the heat up to boiling liquid boil. Boil, 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 yeah. Place the skillet, cover the pan, yeah. Cook eight minutes, okay, eight minutes. Hey Siri, timer for eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Fucking bitch, okay, she doesn't, she doesn't get how to do an eight minute timer. I don't get this apple. Why cannot fucking Siri make me an eight minute timer in English? I guess, I, I get it, she's German or it is German, but it should still be able to understand the best language of them all. English, okay. But not British English, just American English, because British English is a skillet. It's a simmering skillet. Okay, I've definitely not been snacking on those nuts. And um, now we have the uh, thing here, simmering. And we are gonna see what then happens. Carrots should feel thin, tender, poked with the tip of the knife. I wanna poke you with the tip of the knife. Turn the heat up to high and bring liquid to a boil. This is boiling. <clears throat> okay. Cook the carrots. Over covered. Un uncovered. Okay, then uncovered. So the sauce reduces by about half, about five minutes. Okay. The carrot, so the carrots feel perfect. They are very peaky pokey, as you will see. If I peaky poke it with this knife real quick. It's very, very soft, very tender, very juicy, you might say. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue cooking. By the way, man, the sponsor of this video is myself. So if you, run, if you want to support me, and if you want to help me spread the positive message of Christ being our Lord and Savior, as you see, I'm Christian, hopefully like you, um, if you want to help me spread this message, you can just look at some videos on my channel and see if that's something you want to support or not. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because I'm currently aiming to hit one subscriber a day. So that'd be really nice if you could subscribe to me and maybe write a nice comment about what I'm doing right or a critical comment about what I'm doing wrong and what I can do better. Okay, so now we're going to start to prepare the meat and eggs. And for that, we're gonna turn a pan up to high heat. Put some butter in it. High heat means eight or nine on this, uh, on this induction field here. And we're just gonna prepare meat and eggs in the same um, pan or in the same, uh, what, what, was the, what was the word for it? In the same skillet so they get a nicer taste of each other. Plus, if you need to get a little uh, spoiler on this, eggs and meat is always better than just meat or just eggs because it gives you higher testosterone. A little, little quick note for all of you who want to repeat this, don't leave the carrots in for too long because then butter is gonna burn and then you will have to do the same thing as I am doing right now and you'll have to fight on five fronts at once which is always bad if you're German and <clears throat> uh, 
also have to like keep watch of these in the oven. I've put it to 100 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, because Fahrenheit is gay. And my meat is also starting to go crazy right now. So I have to keep an eye on that too. So first of all, would I recommend cooking this? Absolutely not. It's stressful. The recipe is complete bullshit. The words in there are unreadable. It's in fucking British English or whatever the fuck the language is. And like, if you want to get eye cancer by reading British English too much, yes, then do it. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description just if some of you want to cook it. It's just for the carrots, so not for the meat or anything. The meat though should be clear what to do with meat. Just put butter in a pan and just throw it in there. So now we're making the water for the cooked eggs. And in this oven right now, we're keeping heated the meat and the carrots and of course a little bit the nuts. I don't really know how the carrots are gonna taste. I hope good. Uh, we're gonna bring this water to boiling heat now. And this is very important that you get this right with the cooked eggs because many, many people don't really know how to do this. So you get a spoon, a big spoon, and you put your, what was the, what was the word again? And you put a skillet on high heat, so almost like the max of the oven you have. And then you're going to use a, what was that again? Then you're going to get it to simmer on the skillet. And then you are going to get eggs. I prefer three. You can prefer four. Most people like three. I got nice. Uh, good eggs, they have green on it, so they have to be good. Um, I'm gonna take three of them, I'm gonna take this, this, and this. And yeah, I'm gonna wait until this boils now and tell you some bullshit why we do that. Did you know that koalas are white and have black stripes? And zebras are black but have white stripes? It's crazy, right? So now that this water started to simmer, we are gonna wait for a very, very, very short amount of time, actually right, not now, but in a couple seconds, when it simmers correctly, you know, when it starts to boil, not, not, not simmering, this is simmering right now. And when the bubbles start to get bigger, like this, now it starts to boil. And that's the point exactly right now when it like, when it starts to heat, you wanna get your eggs ready. You always wanna have your eggs ready on the spoon. We will have one ready. And we want to quickly move this as soon as these, see these little bubbles here everywhere? Yeah, that's what we wait for. And then we don't cast these things directly in here. We pretty much wait until about now. When, it, when, when the bubbles are really like coming inconsistently. Yeah, until this stage is reached. And then we get it off of the heat. We put the eggs in. And what should happen now is that there should be a couple bubbles coming from the eggs like right here. And you're gonna see it with the next one. Look at the egg, a couple bubbles coming from it. This is what it should look like when you are cooking eggs and you also shouldn't let them fall this is why we use the spoon so we can really get it controlled going down <clears throat> and so we don't burn our fingers to shit and we cook eggs now we're just gonna set a seven minute timer and just gonna let these bad boys boil so now that everything is prepared and looks nice and dicey we are gonna eat this and hope that it really tastes nice First impression, it smells okay, and the carrots are kind of like a little hard maybe. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, they don't taste sweet at all. They taste like, um... Oh yeah, yeah. It tastes like sweet potatoes. You had like an inch too short in the oven. So I maybe should have left them 
in the pan for a little bit longer. The meat though is fine. It's looking fine, it's smelling fine. Of course, it's also tasting fine, man. Meat is always the go-to thing. If you want to cook something that's easy to make, healthy, good for your testosterone, good for your liver, good for everything, just eat meat, eggs, and some vegetables. Now we're gonna taste a little bit of the carrots with the nuts and see if that also tastes as nice as I thought it will. Mmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course, also my mine egg. Oh fuck, I just put, oh fuck, I need well, Disclaimer, you shouldn't switch your brain off while putting this because if you just put the uh, chalk from the, or the, basically the skin, I don't know how to call this, of the egg, and if it's too hot, you also shouldn't eat it with your hands. <laughs> um, continues to do it anyway. Um, you should get an extra bowl for this or a, how do we call this, a skittle, a sk yeah, a skiffle. <laughs> the egg is way too hot, I'm gonna wait to eat this. I'm just gonna eat another, these sweet potatoes because it basically tastes like, like sweet potato, you have to try this. It tastes exactly like sweet potatoes. A little bit hard. Mm. Too hard, some might argue. But it's good. Honestly, it's very good. It's healthy, it's tasty. What do you want more? So I'll put the link to um, the recipe I used for the carrots in the description. Um, you should probably stick to it more than I did because I went freestyle after like two lines. And you probably also need Google Translator for this because Brits are fucking crazy. Okay. Oh, perfect. You know what my plan was? My plan was to get the the egg uh, yellowish, the egg yolk, uh, to be complete. And then, look, a little German engineering hack. You get the egg, you get the egg yolk, you poke a knife into it, so you can pour from it, and then you basically get it over your meat. And you just put the egg on your meat. It's crazy. I always find it crazy that, that like neat little things like this have been done forever and have been healthy forever, but now media wants to come along and tell you, oh, it's not healthy. In the 50s, they said, cigarettes, you should smoke cigarettes. Independent women and strong women smoke cigarettes. Now they're saying you need to, need to eat protein powder. Think about it. What is protein even? Protein these days is something that you're being sold as powder. But this powder 
it's actually bad for your testosterone. I can get old protein from me. There's soy in there. All these products that um, that, that modern media basically replaced um, fucking meat and eggs and all the good stuff with is bad for you. You shouldn't eat it. The meat that I have cooked today, the meal and everything around it, it's probably going to be better than the advice that most, I'm going to say doctors tell you these days, so media doctors. I have no idea what they're talking about. Basically tell you these days, like, they tell you soy is healthy for you, but it actually lowers your testosterone. And this is the problem. They walk by feeling, you know, when you eat soy, you feel better, essentially. I get it. I've eaten soy before and afterwards I was like, do you know this feeling when you have eaten and you're not like full, full? So you're not like overloaded and bloated, but you're like, okay, with what you ate? That's the feeling when you eat soy. And I get it, it's a nice feeling, but it lowers your testosterone. Soy is bad for you. And because you feel good when you eat it, people assume that you're going to be healthy. If you want to make unethical money these days, you can just poison, you can just basically put poison in a nice package and fucking look at this shit. Flirt orange, 3% fruit. Plastic bottle, barcode on here, fucking 7.6 grams sugar, zero grams of protein. Just drink water and raw milk and you'll be fine. Don't drink your calories otherwise. Don't drink fucking protein powder, no creatine, whatever. Don't fucking do that shit. I don't use creatine and I'm probably stronger than most people alive, right? I benched like 320 a couple of days ago and I don't fucking use none of that fucking protein shit, none of fucking pre-workout stuff, I don't even listen to music in the gym. I do, from a modern lifter's perspective, I do everything wrong, everything. There are people in the gym trying to correct me all the time but I'm stronger, bigger, smarter, whatever than them. And if you don't bench more than me, I'm not taking lessons from you. Like, when it comes to strength, if you want to talk to me about strength and testosterone, be stronger and better than me. So again, special trick. Put the egg on here. Simply slice it through in the middle. And if your egg yolk is not like this, but like a little bit more fluid, and you could just pour it on there and that will be way better than what I'm doing right now. But like this, it's also completely fine. It tastes a thousand times better than fucking sauce or ketchup or whatever the fuck you use. Just use an egg. It tastes better, it's healthier, doesn't have estrogenic shit in it. I would like to start like a, like a, like a series where you can ask me questions or something. So. If you got any questions about self-improvement, you can just put them in the description or in the comments, not in the description, in the description only, I can write things. It tastes like miscooked um, sweet potatoes. You know what I just thought? I just thought, fuck book knowledge. I don't know, I just randomly sometimes get these ideas for videos. And right now I want to film a video about book knowledge. So let's just discuss it right now since probably some of you have dropped off and only the people who really are kind of advanced in self-improvement and don't have fucked attention spans or listening. I might talk about book knowledge and how it badly affects your mental health. Listen, if you always have to refer to some book or something else that isn't you or your brain 
in order to make a point. I'm sorry, but I don't really respect you. I had an argument with the guy about optimal training routines in my gym. And he's a trainer, so he's a kind of professional guy with this. And he basically said, prove to me that your program works, or prove to me that your program is a good one. And he said, oh, you can't prove it, right? He, he wanted to fool me. And I said, like, this is my proof. This is proof enough, huh? Look at my bench. It's full of plates, three on each side. That's my proof. That's backing up how good my training program is. And he started basically yapping and saying, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not working because you do so high volume. It's working even though you have so high volume. It's just because you have good genetics. And I don't know if you've seen old pictures of me, but listen, if I have good genetics, if I have good genetics, Santa Claus is real, okay? He is not real. Fuck Santa Claus. I don't care about Santa Claus. Christmas. Isn't the fucking day when Santa Claus brings you fucking gifts or something. It's the day Jesus Christ, our Lord, was born. So every single time you see fucking Santa Claus in the streets, this, what you do is you ask him, are you Christian? And if he says yes, you pull away his costume and tell him to walk the street naked now. I cannot understand people who see what God has done for them. They look around and they see, okay, everything is made by God. And some of them even say, oh yeah, God is my savior. But then, but then they also fucking um, believe in Santa Claus and Easter bunnies or whatever, you know? All these hedonish um, symbols, basically, all these false gods, they're still worshiping them. I do think that on Christmas, there shouldn't be more gifts than on Easter because Easter is what made Christianity what it is, right? On, I get it, on Christmas, Jesus was born. But what is way more important than being born, in my opinion, is his resurrection, right? His res resurrection, th this, just this phrase, he isn't here. He resurrected in John, whatever, 20 or something, 20, 24, maybe, I don't know it um, perfectly right now. But there was an angel sitting in the grave of Jesus <clears throat> and saying, he isn't here. You're looking for Jesus from Nazareth. He isn't here. He has risen. Just this phrase of he has risen just gives me chills every single time. Listen, I listened to the Bible in a Year podcast with Father Mike Schmitz. You can listen to that. Great podcast. I listened to that before a football game and it was the resurrection of Jesus that day. And right before we arrive with the bus on the on the stadium of them, or on the like on the on the on the on the yard of them. It basically just said, he has risen. And I just thought to myself, I'm gonna fucking destroy someone today. I was so pumped for that game. I mean, we lost it. Um, I think it was 33 and 0. <laughs> but um, I was absolutely pumped that day. If you've seen this boohoo about um, e-cars and e-bikes and e-things, right? E-powered, like electronic powered um, vehicles. I want to just make clear to you that these things can cause testicular cancer and cancer in general. Just, just be aware that it is radiation. It is literal fucking radiation. And I hope you fucking get this. And I hope your family wasn't degenerate enough to get an e-car. I'm going to finish this now. I'm not going to bore you with any stupid things. I'm going to...
I'm going to say probably edited most of the shit I just said out. And uh, yeah, it was a great meal. I hope you liked me cooking. I hope you liked me eating. And now have a nice day and be mindful.